Hi everyone and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is Blended Fit and today I'll give you 10 essential things to see in Malaga. Malaga is one of the most famous spots on Spain's Costa del Sol and you guys should visit here for its scenic beaches and landscapes, century-old castles, structures, and stylish port with great restaurants. Malaga is so much more than an airport and lunch pad for Costa del Sol despite the fact that many visitors to Spain don't think of Malaga as a city with many interesting things to see and visit. This misconception couldn't be more further from the truth, whether it's delicious food, interesting places, historic monuments, or wonderful markets, you're sure to find something in Malaga that will surprise you. There is plenty of history and sun and sightseeing waiting to be enjoyed. Here are my top 10 things to see that you get started. Here's my top one, the Hebron Faro Castle. One remnant of Malaga's Islamic past is the stony ramparts of the Castillo de Hebron Faro, spectacularly situated high on the hill overlooking the city. Malaga city center, Hebron Faro Castle, gives you the best views you can find. The castle was built by the Moors for defensive purposes, hence its prime location and today, you can enjoy the scenery from the high defense walls as you walk around them. If you want to imagine the castle in its former glory even more, in the middle of the fortress, you'll find a small museum with weapons and armors that the soldiers use on the battlefield. The Castillo Gibraltar is not only one of Malaga's biggest sites, it also boasts spectacular views over the city. Number 2. The Malaga Cathedral Even if you are not into church, I still recommend that you take a look at Malaga's impressive cathedral. Built between 1528 and 1782, after Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand expelled the Moors from the Iberian Peninsula, Malaga Cathedral is one of the city's top historic landmarks. Designed by architect Diego de Soleil, the cathedral is a unique combination of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque styles. You can't miss the cathedral, visible from practically every corner, high and low. Look for a glimpse of the tower as you walk in the streets in the old quarter or stand in Plaza de la Constitución. Number 3. The Roman Theater Walk around the ruins of the Roman Amphitheater, the oldest monument in Malaga City. The ruins of the Roman Amphitheater are pretty difficult to miss.
Number 4. Alcassaba. The Alcassaba is a palatial fortification in Malaga built by the Hamudi dynasty in the 11th century. It is Malaga's most important landmark. Malaga spent quite a bit of time under Moorish rule which means that many of the city's top sites and monuments date back to this time. The most impressive of them all though is the Alcassaba. Located right in the city center, you can't miss this beautiful building that's home the beautiful floral patches, orange trees, and stunning Arabic architecture. And that's not even including the view from the fortress over the city. And the top five you shouldn't miss is the Jardin de Pedro Luis Alonso. Located at the east side of the city and recovering an area of 6,500 square meters, this Latin style garden retain Hispanic Muslim and French features. The landscape of the Pedro Lois Alonso Garden is landscaped in harmony with the buildings that surround it. Number 6, Malaga Port well worth exploring it itself over a leisurely morning or afternoon is Malaga's stunning port. Though it has been in use since Venetian times, the beautiful promenade along the harbor front has been stylishly modernized in recent years with the addition of the Palm Garden of Surprises and is a lovely space in which to walk and watch the cruise ships coming and going. And at the far end near Malaga's historical ball ring, is a row of bars and restaurants that lead to the beach. Part of Malaga, only a few minutes from the city center, is a glamorous seaport with restaurants, bars, and fashion boutiques. Number 7, Plaza de la Merced. Plaza de la Merced is a meeting spot for many Malagueños, as well as a mass visit spot for fans of the city's favorite son, Pablo Picasso. His birth house is located in the plaza and in front of it, there is a statue of the man himself, enjoying the Malaga sun. Plaza de la Merced is one of the best squares to visit in Malaga. Number 8, the Malaguita Beach. Malaga's most famous beach, the Malaguita, is easily accessible from the city center. No trip to the Costa del Sol would be complete without visiting the beach, but you don't have to go far to find it. Malaga is the perfect destination for sunbathing, swimming, or simply taking a walk. Head down to Malaguita Beach where you will find some cheering gitos to stop by and have a drink or a bite to eat while taking in the breezy sea air. Atarazana's Market Shop like a local at Atarazana's Market. Visiting the Atarazana's Market is definitely one of the top things to do in Malaga. Today, as one of Spain's best markets, you can expect to find a mind-blowing variety of groceries. The market is jump-packed with all kinds of fish, meat, cheeses, and olives.
Number 10. The Plaza de la Constitución. Appreciate the atmosphere and beauty of Plaza de la Constitución, Malaga. Palm trees line the area and provide you shady relief from the sun. Malaga's largest and most iconic public square, the Plaza de la Constitución, holds significance in both the city's past and present. Serving as a public space since the 15th century, it remains an important center of Malaga de la Light today. And thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you like my video for my top things to see in Malaga and please consider subscribing as well. Share this video and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you for tuning in. This is Splendid Fit. Thanks. Bye.